Welcome, Cancers. I didn't realize that I had pressed record. <laughs> Welcome, Cancers. I'm back again with another video. So, uh, let's see what we got. <laughs> let's see what type of messages we got. Like, I don't know. Like, for Cancers, I don't know. Let's just pull the cards and see. Let's see what we got. Okay, so the first three cards is going to be how your person views you. Then we're going to see how you view them. And then we're going to do a read, kind of like to pull the story together. Okay, so I'm quite interested to see where this is going to go for cancer. Because I know you guys had a decision to make on whether or not if you were going to walk away from a situation, if you're going to leave or stay. Y'all ignore my nails. I know that they're looking a little funky right now, but it is what it is. So let's see how your person views you, Cancer. The person that you're thinking about, how do they view Cancer? Okay. <laughs> cancer, how does they how do they view Cancer? We got the Eight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. So you're, they still view you as undecided and stuck, like not making any forward movement or progress. Um, this could be involving with the Three of Pentacles. This could be, I know this is a general read and mainly love messages but this could be work related with the three of pentacles yeah they feel like you're kind of like absent like m.i.a <laughs> the chariot is you guys' energy and the hermit is virgo's energy so let's see i'm getting like they hope that you're okay let's see why the eight of swords is here yeah the four of cups yeah like Somebody's disappointed because a chapter closed. So they view you as like you're disappointed because a chapter closed. Why is the four of cups here? Yeah, the three of wands. Um, they were waiting for you to reach out or waiting for a response from you. And they didn't get that. Why is the three of wands here? The queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. Yeah, like they're waiting for you to make up your mind on something. The Seven of Cups, okay? And we got the Ace of Cups and the Lovers, okay? So this is kind of like a um, the Lovers and the Ace of Cups. I'm sorry, the Page of Cups is like flirty, like love to flirt. I'm getting like love to kiss, love to be sensual. Um, but I'm getting like somebody here with the Tower and the Three of Swords. I'm getting like... Out of the blue, this person may have hurt you or made you feel some type of way. I'm getting like this person loves to flirt with you. But I'm just getting like they're waiting on you to make up your mind about something. Maybe you guys have a decision to make between two people. Why is the three of pentacles here? <clears throat> The five of swords. Okay, so there is like a bit of pettiness going on here. Um, they may feel like you're kind of working on yourself or building or, you know, um, trying to be, use your, you know, creative side and working towards something. But at the same time, like with the five of swords energy here, like they feel like, they kind of feel like you're being petty. Why is the five of swords here? The four of pentacles. Like, they could feel like you like to keep drama going. Why is the four of pentacles here? Yeah, the justice card. The knight of swords and temperance. I'm getting, I'm hearing slow down. I'm getting slow down. Like, they want... I'm getting like they want you to slow down. They're trying to slow you down. Why is the justice card? Or you feel like they're trying to slow you down. Why is the justice card here? The death card. Okay, so somebody's feeling like something wasn't fair. 
Mm. They feeling like something wasn't fair here. <clears throat> we got the two of swords, so. Oh. They feel like you aren't giving them any attention either. And they're not sure where your attention is going. Okay, but you're, you're focused on yourself right now. Like, you're focused on your career, your pentacles. Um, you you might feel like, you know, your intuition is telling you that, you know, we'll get we'll party, we'll hang out, we'll do all this later. But right now, I feel like this is where your focus is, your pentacle. Okay. But they aren't they aren't sure where your attention is going. Like, what are you doing? Why is the six of wands here? The nine of cups. They want your attention. And they feel left out by you. They feel very left out in the cold by you. Ooh, somebody was saying that they may get a divorce with the Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Five of Cups. Somebody, they... <laughs> uh, they may feel like you want them to regret something that they did or said. Yep. Why is the Five of Cups here? Yeah, they feel like you shut them out. Like you distanced yourself. You distanced yourself. Got the King of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Okay, so somebody provides somebody with some stability. But they, they feel like you may provide this person with some type of stability. But they feel ghosted by you. And they're not sure where your attention is going or what you're doing. Um, they could feel like you're being kind of like petty and you're holding on and keeping, keeping the drama going. Um, but they're not happy about it. They're disappointed. Now they feel like they, they got it. They're stuck waiting to hear from you or stuck waiting for you to make up your mind. <laughs> so let's see how you do them. Cancer view this person, their person. We got the temperance, could be dealing with the Sagittarius. We got the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and the Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You may view this person as like your peace at times, like, like this person gives you that balance. Why is the temperance card here? Queen of Cups, yeah. Like you can talk, you can open up to this person. Okay, you can open up your, you know, your, you can express your feelings with this person. You feel comfortable. This person makes you feel comfortable. King of Pentacles, and they also might be a very good provider. But at the same time, this person burdens you because they want too much. They want all of your attention. They want all of your attention. And I see somebody spying on somebody. They're spying on you. They're watching to see what you're doing. Okay, so why is the nine of pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Very much so. Like, <clears throat> you could you could be feeling like this person is very goal-oriented. Like, their, their mind is on their goals. Like, they have a goal that they want to attain. Yeah, see, with the High Priestess and the Star card, yeah. Like, this person knows what they want to do in life. They know what it is that they, where they're headed, where they're going. And they got goals. We got the moon card, which is you guys' energy as well as uh, Pisces' energy. But with the emperor here, this person is, you may feel like this person is very controlling. Like like I said, they want, you may feel like this person wants all of your attention. They want you to stop with Stop what you're doing when you're doing what you want to do. Like you just feel like this person wants to control the relationship. 
Why is the Ace of Swords here? Knight of Pentacles. Capricorn's energy, but there's a shocking truth that's getting ready to come out. Ooh, about the tower and the world. There's getting ready to be a closure. Closing a chapter. This chapter is getting ready to close. Somebody's giving somebody tough love. You may feel like this person is giving you tough love. But they better be careful because if that's what they're doing... I feel like you're they're they're making you stronger. They're toughening you up. Look at this. The five of swords and the three of cups here. Somebody could be hanging out with friends or or trying to make somebody jealous. Mine's the three of cups here. Hanging out with the wrong crowd. We got the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I got somebody's. They're spying. Like they're checking on, they're checking to see how you're doing with the Ten of Cups. All right, so let's get a read. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up, guys, so we can keep the channel circulating, okay? So, give me a general read for cancers. <laughs> give me a message for cancers. All right, there's that five of swords again. There's that five of swords again. Okay, people doing things out of spite. People being manipulative. We got the ten of pentacles. Five, I'm sorry, the will of fortune. Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Fool. You could be feeling like very, like, what's the Five of Swords here? That's very manipulative energy, like. You're trying to keep your distance. You feel like this person is manip trying to manipulate you, manipulate your mind. <laughs> and see, we got the Eight of Cups. Like, you may feel like you need to walk away. Mine's the Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, see, like the Ten of Wands. It's, you feel burdened by the situation. And you may feel like you need to make some changes, a big change, okay? You feel like you may need to go back to the drawing board and start over. Mine's the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. You've been dealing with this person for a while now. I feel like for over a year or two years or three, even three years or more. Yeah, you don't like the way, you don't like how this person can come off as the Queen of Swords energy. Like, they don't show any emotion like when they need to show the emotions. We got the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're not, like, they can be really, really cold or blunt towards you. And this kind of screws with your head. So you feel like, you know what, it's time to make some changes. Why's the Queen of Wands here? So you might be popping out. Look at you, Nine of Pentacles, baby. When you pop out, you're going to be looking good when you pop out, baby. Yes, yes, yes. You're going to be looking good when you pop out. And now they're going to be worried. You're trying to make them worry about you. Yeah, worry about me now. Mine of Ace of Swords and, yeah. You're not answering their calls with the death card and the ace of swords. Like you're going out, you're hanging out, you're doing you. Monster Knight of Wands here. Three of Cups. Somebody's been partying it up. Telling your friends or talking to friends. I'm kidding. Like this has been like some partying going on, some hanging out, some, you know, some late nights, some rendezvous possibly going on. And the fool card. Ooh, this is going to start a disagreement because it looks like you are more so in a place where you're kind of like, you know, let me hang out a little bit more. Let me be a little bit more. Let me get in my Queen of Wands energy. Mm hmm. Let me get cute. Let me do me for a minute and let you worry. Okay. Because since you want to try to uh, 
be sneaky or be malicious or be, you know, um, you want to bring me that five of swords energy. I need to make some changes. But this is going to start. This is going to piss this person off. Why is the seven of wands here? Mm-hmm. So you making this person feel like they got to fight for your love. <laughs> you making this person feel like they got to fight for your love. Why is the lovers here? In the world. Try everything. You want them to try everything. You want me? Come get me. Come get me. Because somebody here has some options. It could be you with the Queen of Cups. Like, y'all yeah, have, a, you know, got a couple of options now. So now it's like the tables have turned. And I feel like that's what I'm going to call this reading. The tables have turned. <laughs> Y'all let me know what's going on below, guys. If you want to book a personal reading, that information is in the Dropbox below. If you want to purchase the Money Magnet Oil, that information is in the Dropbox below as well, guys. Everything you need is in the Dropbox below, okay? So I'm going to chat with y'all later. Bye.